Today I'd like to bring you a, an interesting ethological peculiarity associated with Kia. And it's a particular sound that they make. Nobody actually knows why they make this particular sound. And it's called the whistle. And the whistle is something that's very, very rarely ever heard by people who work with Kia. I'll, I'll send a, uh, rather, leave a link to a video by um, the Animal Minds Laboratory at the University of Auckland in New Zealand where they show similar spectrograms to this for different Kia sounds, including the whistle. The gentleman narrating the video notes that the whistle is a mystery sound, other than it possibly being associated with uh, aloe care or the receipt of food um, and a sort of it being a generally comforting sound, they're at a loss as to why exactly Kia make this sound. And as the chap narr narrating the video notes, you can actually work with Kia for months or even years and never hear them make this sound. Mine, on the other hand, makes this sound every day, on a regular basis, but only when I'm in the bird's presence. When the bird is in his flight and I'm out of sight, he will make other vocalizations, but he will not make this vocalization. So the only regularity that I can see is that I have to be present for him to make this sound. Other than that, I'm at a complete loss as to what it is that actually triggers this noise. So let's just have a listen to the whistle, shall we? And again. Now it rather sounds like a car alarm or one of those squeaky dog toys sort of being squeezed over and over again. Um, the sound is part of the bird's innate repertoire. The bird hasn't mimicked anything. Um, Kia are not known for being mimics. They, unlike African greys, are very poor. They have very poor abilities when it comes to mimicking. So this is not a sound that he's picked up from the environment and there are no sounds anywhere like this in his environment for him to mimic in the first place, were that even a possibility. So this is part of his innate repertoire of sounds. He has other innate Kia sounds that he makes, like mewing sounds and things like that, which seem to be intrinsic to the Kia. They seem to be instinctual, essentially. These are not learned, these are hardwired into them. And this is one such sound. So I'll leave you on that uh, note, pun intended, uh, and until next time, thank you.